Hi, I'm Jack Harmon and welcome to my video all about having autism and learning disabilities. When you have learning disabilities, well, there are different types of learning disabilities. Some people struggle with telling the time. Some people struggle with reading and writing. Some people struggle with literacy. And some people even struggle with their language and speech. I personally struggle with numbers when it comes to telling the time or times tables. One thing you might not know about me is that there are three beasts occupying my brain constantly and you're about to meet them. Meet Sneaky, the most annoying thing that has ever existed and he represents worry and panic. Sneaky can come in every situation that he wants. The reason why he's so annoying is because he won't let you do anything you like doing in case you have to do something that you don't like. The thing that helps me to cope with Sneaky is that if I ignore him and don't listen to what he's saying, then he will give in and leave me alone. This is Tantrum, one of the most dangerous creatures that has ever existed, and he represents stress. This is the video where I'm stressed about the prom. Whenever Tantrum's around, it always makes it worse. If I'm watching the trailer for something I like on YouTube, then Tantrum can't get through to me because it helps me feel relaxed. This is Chop, the most scariest crocodile on the planet. He represents fear. Whenever you're scared of something the most, Chop makes it worse for you. There are two ways of dealing with Chomp. Either you kick him in the chops, or simply... Even though he has a way of coming back, the things I get anxious about are heights, needles, the kind you're giving people injections with, and getting splinters. That is why I wanted to make this documentary all about having autism and learning disabilities. You see, I asked some of the students here at Orpheus to take part in this documentary and find out all kinds of things that they know about having autism and learning disabilities. So, let's meet them and ask them some of these questions. How does it feel to have disabilities? I don't mind at all. Um, it it, it makes me different to every I'm unique to someone else, um, and and I I honestly don't take it person personally. I just f find it it's different. Sometimes I think to myself, why me? Why do I have to have this? My my legs and floors to all all about. When I was very young, and um, I, I use a power chair. The frustrating is my hearing aids, which I have two. I have one for backup, it's just not working. And now I have the in hearing aids for me, and I'm trying really hard to hear with my hearing loss. And the hearing I have, it's not really working that well, so I won't need more hearing aids. Well, uh, for me when I was about 16, I struggled a lot with it. 
because I had to go into hospital and I had to stay all night and it was not very good. I guess you, you kind of get used to it really. I mean at first it was very difficult to me to find, okay I've got a disability that I would have to live on my own by myself for that and no one else can, I mean obviously I've got the family to help me but those who, those who, if you have, if you haven't got a disability you don't know exactly how it feels that like you don't know exactly what we go, what, what we, what we would spirit you. <laughs> Uh, also, I've got visual impairment like all the other students. Um, sometimes, if I, if I receive information that I don't know, it takes me a good, uh, good time to digest information through. If I did something wrong, if I got it all wrong, I'd rather doubt and start again. Well. I do think it's, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I suppose it's like made me, it's sort of made me on who I am and although I wish I didn't have any learning or, or, or for disabilities, but as I have, I have really have tried to make on the actual best of it and just to, and, 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 and just to always like, yeah, like, yeah, like, at, and just to enjoy life and just sort of uh, and just hope that I always do my best. It can um, make me uh, um, a little bit shy especially when I'm especially when I'm in a different place to someone to somewhere in you that I don't know. I found when I was little I found it really hard to make friends because of my disability but now I've got loads of friends. Having learning disabilities makes me feel a lack of confidence, a lack of confidence as, as well as, you know, um, it's part of life really. What helps you to cope with the things you struggle with? I just cope it, cope with it in a way that I can really, and I just take my own time, um, and I really don't think it makes any difference as long as I'm myself. Well, on what helps me to deal with all the stuff that I find hard, um, is that I, that I try to, like always, like sort of, you know, like work through it and just always do and just all, always do the best like you know like near you know, like as I can and just and just enjoy life. I if I really don't understand something of the teachers or your family or your friends they would I guess they would support me to help me to do that. General things really that um, with my mind, I tend to speak them in, in, my, in my mind. So then when I'm worried about it, I tend not to worry about them as much as um. Ask people to help, to help me um, forget about them. I would explain to them that you find learning sometimes difficult to other people and you might need a bit more help. What do you enjoy doing here at Orpheus? Oh, I really, I really do enjoy like being here at Orpheus because it's such a great place and, and I feel it's, you know, that I do think that it's a real honour to actually be a part like of such a great place. Um, all because that I have learned like so much, like, and it's given me so much confidence in terms of 
in terms of all the shows and, and performances I've done and it's given me a lot of like you know like confidence and things. I enjoy doing my music here. I um I am I am playing a lot on my saxophone and that is good. I'm doing a lot of songwriting which I love to do. I love it here, obviously. It's been one of the best things in my education to be at. Well, the first thing I'd say is um, I wanted to come here since I left school, really, because I didn't like enjoy school at all. Drama, music, technology, and ev well, basically everything. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's just one of the best things that I've ever done. I've got lots of friends. Here. I like drawing music and I like to draw a cartoon of the um, of my own stories and I like the music I play my violin. I was in my own music. And I'm making uh, notes for making uh, my own tunes for the lesson and the session. It's, it is lovely because you get to um, have your own flat and um, and you can invite other people around as well. I live in this flat. I like to have to live there working at um, making on my own things. I will have to learn how to live a, in a situation and always have to draw over my sketch pad. Do you think having learning disabilities makes you who you are? I think it does make me who I am, yeah. Um, I, I, again, I really don't mind as long as I'm myself. And as long as um, they respect me, then I, I really don't mind. Be yourself. I would say to to I be your normal self. Don't listen to anyone who might take the mick out of it. Don't listen to It can be pretty cool sometimes, but sometimes uh, it, it can be not good. Oops, I don't think I would be me. If I didn't have, you know, like them, um, I mean, obviously, I, I mean, obviously, I wish I didn't have any, you know, like learning or or foot disabilities. But seeing as I have, I try to make the most. Um, I try to make the best of it. Now, before we finish, I would like to introduce a little song that I wrote in Acoustic Rock Week, which has something to do with both autism and learning disabilities, and it's all about love. Take us home, Jack. Tell us what this song is about. It's about love being a very powerful thing. The bells in my ears ring And the nightingales stand and sing Because love is a powerful thing Makes the bells in my ears ring And the nightingales stand and sing Because love is a powerful thing When you're in love You can Oh, 
powerful and strong. if you have autism or learning disabilities or not. It doesn't mean you are stupid or can't achieve what you want. Always remember that you can do anything. <laughs> 